actually been up for like an hour now. Um, Jacob woke up to nurse around 6 o'clock. And that was after like a super long stretch. I'm not even for sure how long like he had slept. I'm going to check on my Fitbit app to see like how big of a stretch of sleep I got. And that way I'll know like how long he slept. But he woke up about 6 and wanted to nurse. And then we've been up ever since then. He... I changed him and got back in bed and was about to fall back asleep and he just like puked all over me. <laughs> and I was like, <sighs> okay, so I guess we'll just get up for the day. So I got up and I had to change and I had to change his clothes. And yeah, we've been up ever since then. But JJ actually slept in his bed, as you guys saw, all night long this is only the second time he slept in his bed all night like the whole night through and i think that is a big deal because i know he woke up this morning and like looked at me as i was changing jacob's clothes and he saw me and he still stayed in his bed he like rolled over and got his cup and was drinking his milk and went right back to sleep and i was like yes yes um I miss him being in the bed with us. Like, I loved having him, co-sleeping with him. Do not regret it for one minute of his entire life. But I know it, it was past time for him to be in his own bed. And especially now that Jacob's here, it's just time. And it's really good that he's adapting well and we're figuring it out. But I was just really proud of him this morning for staying in his bed, even though he could have gotten up and come, come to bed with us. So... This little boy is the sweetest thing in the whole world. Look at those hands. Ah, I just love him so much. Good morning. Did you want to lay down for baby brother? Huh? <laughs> Not sure Jacob is liking it. Gotta get some light in this place. Put some sunshine in. There we go. Now I can see your handsome faces. Me? Yeah, your handsome face. You show everybody your boo boo? Oh no. What happened? The door. The door hit your foot? Yep, you're right. Did it hurt? Did you cry? But are you okay now? Yeah. Yeah, you cried, huh? Did daddy kiss it? He probably didn't because it's your foot. He don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> My God is so big. He wants you to squat like him. <laughs> Milk drunk baby over here. <laughs> Ready? JJ, come on. If anyone knows this song, comment down below and tell us. If you know where it's from. When you're down and low, lower than the floor, and it seems like you don't have a chance. Step, something step like the crab. Three, <laughs> three step, 
don't know. <laughs> I was actually really impressed that you had gotten that far. <laughs> what in the world? Daddy's got both his boys. Wow. Okay, that's kind of scary. <laughs> friends so I've already tried to film this <sighs> tried to tell you guys what's been going on in our lives and then JJ fills his diaper and I had to go change it because it stunk so bad I couldn't even stand it so I had to go change his diaper and then as I was changing his diaper Jacob was filling up his so I had to change his diaper so they are both now fresh and clean so I'm gonna try to do this again so Today has been a crazy day. Um, first, let me start off by saying that Jimmy and I purchased a minivan yesterday. If you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, you already know that. But we were minivan owners once before, um, so this isn't our first minivan. But we loved our minivan before, but then I wanted something smaller. So we um, went down to like a smaller SUV type vehicle. And it didn't take us long to figure out it was not going to work for us. Obviously, we could still fit two car seats in it, but we were like, if we have another baby anytime soon, like, obviously, I, I mean, I'm not going to anytime really soon, but even in the next, like, two years or so, we're going to have to upsize in a vehicle. And sure, we could wait until then, but then we didn't know, like, what our SUV was going to be worth at that time and so we were like let's go ahead and sell it now while we can and buy another vehicle so we did that and we purchased a van yesterday and we really love it it's a 2006 oh, there's my hubby he's talking to his brother but anyway it's a 2006 um Dodge Grand Caravan and it's got some gadgets in it that I've never had before in any vehicle like that my parents owned or I owned um, so I really like it and I want to show you guys but it is raining outside or at least it was so hopefully I can get out there and show you guys what it looks like um, but yeah we're super excited about that all right so here it is We've got both of the boys already in there so I try to be quick because it is raining but I was talking about some gadgets that it has that none of the vehicles that we've owned have ever had is um it has power doors so i can just like ta-da <laughs> shuts on its own and then um here's what it looks like from the back and it has buttons up there where jimmy's got his hand where he can like open and close all the doors or at least the two sides and the back Here's what it looks like in the front. I mean, it's not like super fancy or anything, but um, we really like it, obviously. And got those buttons up there. It's just a lot nicer than I was expecting it to be. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, it has some uh, stow and go, which is another thing that I really like. Because we can, you know, put snacks or diapers or whatever down there. But just the extra room and how big it is, it's just going to be perfect for our growing family. So, I just realized that I didn't even finish what I was saying earlier when I said that today has been a crazy day. So, yesterday is when we bought this vehicle. And one of the things that Jimmy noticed right away when he saw it was that it needed new tires. 
and we knew that that was going to be something that we had to do right away. And so we went to Walmart this morning at like what, 10.30? So they hadn't been open for that long. It wasn't like, you know, a whole lot of people had brought their vehicles in to be serviced, but we got there and we waited for like 30 minutes to even be like checked in and then after we waited that 30 minutes we waited three hours at the Walmart. Three long, excruciating, exhausting, starving, <laughs> long hours um, at the Walmart waiting for them to put new tires on our vehicle. It was miserable but we made it through and now we have um, a new vehicle with new tires and we're just so thankful um, the Lord has truly been good to us we have a new baby and a new car and we're just living the life